I am getting ready to sail back to Fakurava. French Polynesia is starting to experience the beginning of a bunch more lockdowns and before the Chuamotos get locked down, I want to put myself somewhere where I feel safe. Right now, there's still freedom of movement in the Chuamotos, and it's a really bad forecast for leaving, but I don't really have a choice, so it's kind of uh, 15 to 20 knots from the east, which is pretty standard trades, and I'm going southeast, so I'm really buttoning up my boat. I haven't seized out at this well in a long time. It's 200 miles. So I'm just uh, going around and doubly securing everything. I have my small head sail up and two reefs in the main. The squalls that have been rolling through for the past 24 hours have really big wind ahead of them, like upwards of 30 knots. So my plan is to just uh, not put up a ton of sail and maybe I'll go more slowly, but at least I'm not going to get slammed around and when the squalls hit, I'll be a little bit more prepared. Welcome to Winterpeace Sailing. I am single-handing my Grind 27 around the world. I started my trip in Maine with a very cold 10-month overhaul of my entire boat. Solo sailed through the Caribbean, the Panama Canal, 41 days alone across the Pacific, and now I am sailing in French Polynesia, trying to learn French, living the castaway lifestyle of my dreams, and doing a bunch of awesome sailing. On board the Gek, I have no fridge, water maker, fancy electronics, and my dinghy is a rowboat with a sail rig. If you're interested in seeing what I'm doing in my daily life, check out my Instagram at Boat Lizard. I'm sunscreened up, waiting to go. It's really squally outside, and I am kind of nervous about this pass. It's really not a good one to leave in a lot of wind. great start. Um, I wanted to have my anchor before this squall hit because there was a lull in the wind and um, it made it easier to have my anchor but now it's really rainy and I'm a little early for the pass so I'm just kind of sitting here with the engine on but not going anywhere um, waiting for the squall to be over and then hopefully it's time to go hit the pass and see if I can get out. Once the squall wind dies down, I'll round up and set the main, and then I'm kind of uh, well on my way. The squall is temporarily over. There's more gray on the horizon, but I have my main up, tiny main, because it's really windy out there, double reef. And I'm heading for the pass. I just saw a bunch of dive boats going there, and they usually know what's up. So even though it's 45 minutes before a guesstimator slack tide, I'm gonna go for it anyway. I just so want to get out here and get on the open ocean. This is the last day marker that I need to round and then I'm going to turn 180 degrees ish and be in the pass. Looks, well it's hard to tell. It looks pretty okay in there but I also can't really see it. <laughs> I am in the pass and there does seem to be a little bit of current that's pulling me onto this side over here. So even though I'm pointing towards the middle, I'm kind of getting sucked onto the edge. Uh, strange swirly stuff pulling me towards the reef, which is unpleasant. Um, but the wind just kicked back in a little bit, so that should help me uh, have some more speed and way to be able to stay away from the nasty current swirls. I'm going to try to strike out more into the center of the pass, even though it's usually better to stick to the right. Um, I think since it's so slack, it doesn't matter if I'm more in the middle and then it makes me a little safer from these currents that are pulling me onto the shallows. There's a big squall that's been sitting out here since I was leaving the pass that's sort of bending the wind and I should shake a reef out of my mane but I'm kind of holding off until the squall hits because these squalls for the past two days have had some pretty insane pre-squall wind and it doesn't make sense to unreef, but I'm kind of just blobbing along here pretty slowly, so it's, it's one of those things. Anyway, this is the sky. Here's yawn squall. And it's just a gray day. There's Ringaroa, goodbye. It's another sailboat that I passed earlier. I just ate an apple with peanut butter. I'm excited to get some more sea room out here because I am on a lee reefy shore and just sort of tacking my way away from Rangaroa so once I pass another couple hours out here 
I think I'll relax a bit more. Hopefully this squall blows through and then um, I'll see what the wind is doing after the squall and drink a reef out if I need to. The squall is here! It's really nasty wind. I'm super glad I stayed reefs down. I need to replace my steering gland right now, it's leaking really badly. So whenever I am at sea, I'm getting liters an hour. I have these rags that I'm using to try to keep the water from sloshing too far over the floorboard since my bilge is really shallow. And I call it visiting the lake every half hour, so I have to take up the floorboard and scoop all the water out. You guys can see there's not really a bilge here, so it's kind of just me versus the ocean. was pretty good really rough right now I'm kind of in the lee of a couple little atolls that I'm trying to get past so the seas have flattened way out which is super nice I've been able to do a bunch of the things I've been putting off like uh, washing myself and cooking a meal kind of worming my way through all these little atolls which is nice because they block the big waves and all I have to do is just be careful and keep tacking to get up and around them really beautiful sunset. Super nice to have the seas lay down a little bit and um, it's been a good day. I've been doing a lot of napping because last night I didn't get a lot of sleep. I have my small head sail up again. Life is getting windy and it does look like there are some squally clouds on the horizon but sometimes at night this happens where the sun sets and the normal clouds look squally because they're just dark so I'm not really sure but I have high hopes. Really hoping for a good night of sleep. Nice stars. Maybe a green flash. It's really rough outside and super windy, but in weird, gusty ways. So sometimes I'm really overpowered. Right now I have my working job up. And one reef in the main. 
I put two reefs in last night, but then uh, sometimes I get these like half hour really strong periods of wind, so that's when I put in two reefs, but as soon as it ended I was way overpowered and my wind vane rounded up and the jib backed and I tacked around and it was a whole thing, so now I just have one reef in and sometimes I just kind of grit my teeth and slam into the waves and have spray over my entire boat, um, and then it goes away. But that's just the bow burying itself. Uh, so this is what's happening. This has been my course so far. I left Rangaroa and got stuck in this really strange pattern of squalls. So this, I tried to tack, but then it was such a horrible tack angle that I went back. But look at all these different, this is all close hauled. That's all on a starboard tack, except for this one little bit here. That was a port tack. This is all insane. And then finally, uh, I was able to tack and have not such a bad tack angle. So this was a good night two nights ago. I made it all the way down to here. And then, so the thing is, there's huge waves and my boat just buries its little nose into them and the wave rolls over the whole boat. So I thought I'll go between these atolls because I'll be in the lee. And sure enough, the waves were way down but I think there is some sort of current because if you look at my tack angles, they're very good. This was all last night that I was tacking every couple hours, no fun. And then I think I made this tack around three this morning and barely cleared the edge of this guy. Now I'm down here. Here's another one that I have to tack around. I'll get up into the lee of two o. And then hopefully, I think this is an optimistic line, I'll probably be going more like this. Uh, this is where I'm going, but I'm going to go into this pass, not this one. So I still have a, it's 75 miles, so I'll take the morning tide tomorrow morning and go in there. But um, yeah, just getting into the lee of uh, two out a little bit so the waves are down, but it's, uh, it's been a night. Breakfast is this carrot and some water. Just spent my third night at sea. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm coming up on Fuck Robin now. Um, I have just sailed way up into the lee and I'm about to make a tack back down and around. Is that too ready? Go back to sleep after I do this tack. I'm approaching the South Pass now, starting to finally see the palm trees. Really sloshy out here. Not really sure what the tide's doing in the past, but fuck it. <laughs> I'm so ready to be in. <laughs> Made it in the pass. There was probably three or four knots in going, which was cool. This pass is totally flat when it's in going, even in strong winds, so that was nice. I just kind of flew through. Now the wind is the wrong angle for me to be in the channel on the way up to Harifa, so I'm sailing through the atoll and kind of uh, dodging around bodies, keeping a sharp eye out for those deep because the biz isn't great today. So I'm gonna go do that, but I'm so, so happy to be in. Oh my God. I made it in. Anchor's dropped, uh, everything is put away, and it's time to go to sleep. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. I think that's a reasonable bedtime for me. So, good night, peace out, hello fuckerava. It's really great to be back. Thank you, Tish. Thank you, Tish. Also, thank you, Tish. Thank you so much to Tish. Thank you, Tish. Who is Tish? Hi, I'm Tish. On the weekends, you can find me on the track, in the woods on a hike, in the kitchen baking something delicious. But even at the end of a busy, glorious weekend, I test and schedule Holly's video for publication for 2 p.m. on Monday afternoon. Thanks for watching. I put out new videos every two weeks, and for my patrons, you guys get a new video. Little snack on the weeks that I don't put out a YouTube.
thank you to all of my lovely patrons who support me and continue to make my journey possible. If you'd like to become a patron, my Patreon is patreon.com slash windhippy. And for one-time donations, my PayPal is paypal.me slash windhippy. Thank you for all your lovely comments. I love reading them and responding whenever I have an available internet connection. Uh, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Tish. And I'll see you guys in two weeks with another video. Peace out.